Why did you choose to become a PA? So um, I chose to become a PA because um, there's multiple different reasons. Uh, primarily, I always had an interest in working um, and studying medicine. Uh, and initially, I thought the only route to complete that was a um, MD, a medical degree. So initially, I was uh, studying to apply to medical school. I wrote the MCAT, applied to medical school um, in my third year of undergrad, and I was not accepted that round, and I was readying my application another cycle. Um, and then a family friend introduced me to the PA profession, and I was quite interested in it um, due to the flexibility of the career, the ability to be able to practice medicine in multiple specialties, to grow as a professional that way, um, otherwise known as the lateral mobility of their profession. I thought that was quite neat. Um, I was also interested in just uh, the extension that you provide uh, with your supervising physicians. It's very much a collaborative role, which was very interesting to me. Um, the ability to kind of work alongside your supervising physician and in collaboration with the team uh, is something that was really of interest to me as opposed to um, the MD route where you're kind of the sole provider on a case. So that was a, a strong distinction that made me more interested in, in the PA path. And then the last kind of reason was as the overarching goal of a P of the PA profession is to extend healthcare services um, and really fill gaps within the healthcare system, whether that be patient education through longer visits, um, just a, a different kind of post-op, pre-op care. There's so many different roles that PAs play within our uh, healthcare system and even uh, northern and rural care as well. So those three aspects really drew me to the profession. And so um, I ended up applying and here I am. So I, like, I was already in healthcare, like I said earlier, I, I was a technologist working in healthcare and I really love, you know, working with patients and I, I, I love like talking with them and reassuring them. So that was like a huge aspect that always like drew me to healthcare. Uh, I personally have like my own journey as a patient. So I actually got treated by a PA and I remember the PA walked in and she was like, hi, I'm a PA. And I was like, what is a PA? I had no idea. And when she told me about her job, I was like, wow, this is like the dream profession. And immediately, like I started researching and, and this, was, this was in the US actually. Um, so when I came home, I, I actually looked it up and found out that we actually had this in Canada as well. And I, I was blown away and I started the process. I actually didn't even have an undergrad at that point. I had a college degree. So I actually enrolled in undergrad to get the process started. Um, and I was really drawn by like, kind of like what Hannah was saying, like the lateral mobility for us to be able to change, you know, the fields if we wanted to. Um, I really like the fact that we get to sp spend a lot of time with the patient. That's like, sometimes, you know, like as a physician, sometimes they might be a bit in, more in a hurry not always like it's, it's not always like that, but as PAs, it's one thing that we do have that oftentimes we can really be there and advocate for patients. And personally, I really love the fact that the profession is fairly new. It's new ish. Um, and the fact that I could advocate for this profession and help it grow in the country to me was like, it was just really exciting. Um, like it's not that established. To have, so to have a role um, to kind of pave the way, I, I just found that really like intriguing and exciting. So those are like main reasons why I found PA really interesting and attracting to me. 